Hello guys, welcome to a new session in Horta America's TV. Today, I am ready to teach you about an environmental variable that we sometimes forget, we don't know, or we don't understand. Let's speak about PPD or vapor pressure deficit. Vapor pressure deficit is a measurement related to humidity. We know humidity in our growing systems can be expressed as relative humidity, which I think is the most common measurement we usually use inside growing systems and is expressed as percentage. Then we have vapor concentration, which is the amount of water present in a specific volume of air. And last, we have PPD. So what exactly is PPD and why is this useful? Speaking in easy words, BPD is the amount of vapor that can still be stored in the air until saturation point is reached under the same temperature. These in fancy words will be the actual pressure difference between the actual vapor pressure and the saturation vapor pressure. And why is this useful for growers? Well, we know humidity is good for plants, right? But too high humidity can carry also problems inside our growing systems. For growers, BPD can give an indication of the possibilities of the crop to keep transpiring at a given temperature without danger of, con of condensation. Condensation is not good for plants, right? The more water we have, the more risk of fungal attack we have. And high humidity can also affect plant transpiration, air movement, and temperature. Using this easy tool developed by the Dr. Shuri Gabora, you only have to introduce your temperature and relative humidity data in order to get PPD. And here, you can notice why BPD is important. Here we have two different situations, both with the same relative humidity levels, but different temperature. Can you notice? Relative humidity is a good measurement, but knowing BPD, you can get way more information about your system and you can get to manage your system better. But how I know if BPD levels are correct? We have to mention BPD is very crop specific and can even change across the crop cycle. But the general recommendations are to keep BPD levels from 0.3 to 1 kilopascals. In our example, we can notice same humidity levels, but higher temperature can promote higher BPD levels than the recommended ones providing us information about the necessity to take action inside of our system. PPD correlates directly with plant transpiration rates. We know transpiration is good for plants, right? But what happens when we have an excess in transpiration? Let's share a very common problem we can have inside a greenhouse with tomato. So this is called blossom and rot. Blossom and root is calcium deficiency. Calcium moves within the water inside plants. Therefore, transpiration will affect calcium uptake. When transpiration is reduced, calcium will not be able to move to leaves and fruits, showing necrosis in both plant organs. On the other hand, when transpiration is excessive, calcium flows quickly to leaves suppressing the movement to fruits. In this case, calcium deficiency symptoms will only be present on fruits. From my experience, this is the most common case. If you are used to work with relative humidity levels, you are probably asking yourselves, how can you relate relative humidity levels to BPD? It's simple. Higher BPD levels means more moisture can be held in the air before condensation meaning low relative humidity levels are present. On the other hand, low BPD levels are related to a situation where less moisture can be held in air before condensation.
meaning relative humidity levels are higher. So now let's make a summary. BPD is very important in greenhouses and indoor systems. High BPD levels above two kilopascals can cause high transpiration rates and low water potential in leaves. Both high and low BPD levels can lead to heat injury because leaf temperature will increase. And low BPD can suppress transpiration impacting energy balance and nutrient uptake in passive nutrients like calcium. So less transpiration will be equals to rapidly increase in leaf temperature. So now we know a little bit more about greenhouse management. BPD can be a very useful tool in growing systems. And of course, there are also sensors you can use in order to monitor this variable directly in greenhouses. I hope you find this information useful. Please subscribe if you like this video and are willing to learn more. My name is Carla Garcia, Hort America's Technical Service. You can also find me on Instagram as Professor Grove. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.